Hey Chris, I just wanted to go over some colors with you right now. This is the first Island Tales I didn't do right here. Now if you look at this cover, I don't know if you can really see them on the phone, but the background is purple, but he gets some orange hues pop, like some warm hues popping off of him. Even though the lighting is not coming from anything in the background. When it comes to uh, storytelling, you can you can always cheat the lighting, you know what I mean? You can... It doesn't matter like pe people not gonna really pay attention that's one of the things that's good about comics is you can look he get orange coming off over here and orange coming off over here and here and maybe that might be coming from something off screen projected onto him like because i draw mountains over here maybe get on lava you know on lava pit on the bottom someplace over here but you don't know you know what i mean so you can always uh cheat the storytelling but if you look so if you look at this first page, you get one one bright sunset over here, and a thing comes down this way. You can kind of see the way the the way everything flowing. You know what I mean? So you get the sunset over here, and is and your eye besides the line besides my line work, his colors is also um, telling you where for look. So you start off over here. And because this is where you're gonna read, and this way you, this way you're gonna read, you your eye naturally gonna flow this way. From here, now you see this, and you see the way I set up this whole panel. Everything gonna come this way, and then from here, the only thing you get besides the, the word balloons, and and the, and that's why I make the the faces over here, so you can kind of trace this way. You know, you, you know what I mean. But the only other thing for for give you any sort of lineation from here, is the fact that here is darker than here so you get from here you can see them coming this way and going back this way okay but anyways i know you're doing one daytime scene so we'll go find on daytime scene um um okay so like right here his sky is blue with clouds yeah but if you look you get orange hues coming over here you get orange hues popping off Popping off the characters himself and popping off over here because it's probably his, his son is someplace up here, which is probably incorporated with this panel right here. If you look, so you can um you can do that too. You can pop some orange off and uh, make the make the characters darker. Make the characters darker because um one thing about comics is like when the thing print, the thing will print real light. You know what I mean. So um I know I know Ray he colored he real heavy handed when he colored and I know you can be real heavy handed too because I see your work, you know what I mean? And I wouldn't pick you if you like some people they kind of they they they're like the scared color, like you know what I mean? Fuck nobody's scared, just fucking give them. I'd rather you give them and have to pull back than not do enough and then you gotta do some more, you know what I mean? But you know, and you, you do everything on layers too, so it's not too bad. But if you look at this like if uh, again you get you get the storytelling over here with the sun over here and then coming to one cool so you get warm and it's 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 cooling down like you you, you see them and now the thing is cool you know what i mean so we we'll look for yeah this is another good scene right here your background is all blue with, blue skies with clouds but the characters get sun popping off of them if you look at them if you look at this guy he get you know orange shoes orange shoes over here she get orange shoes over here, you know what I mean? She get, she get, so you, it's like the sun is reflecting off of them and we all know in Hawaii, it, it, it's hot, you know what I mean? So, and you like kind of convey that, especially on the pages that you're working on, because if you notice the tone get a little bit darker, 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 darker. So you can start off super, super bright on page one through like five or six or whatever. And then from there, you can start toning them down for, for, for cool them down. Uh, you know what I mean? And maybe throw some grays inside with the battle scene, you know, with that big eel. Then after that, things can kind of get gloomy and, you know, you can really do some different effects with the skies. But but if you look, he cheat the sky. He cheat the, the um, not sky, but he cheats the, um, the lighting. Like over here, he get the moon over here, but that's only the, the only thing that is lighting this guy is the moon, you know what I mean? But... So you get this panel right here. This panel is like, these pages right here is, you don't know where the light source come from. Of course, gotta be the moon, but what's the lighting this guy for income red and all of that. So you can cheat and do all of that. You know what I mean? That's the good thing about the colors. If you look colorist, they, they do planning stuff from, from here to here. Things change, you know what I mean? 
so it's also a good way for for look from here down to here or or you can you know see the way like a lot of it is try look at my line work the thing on the thing on go this way you know what i mean going going make you look going going always point you to the next thing is it's like storytelling one on one right there you know what i mean so the colorist the line work the inks everything and the letters they all they all collaborate and they work together okay um if if you don't want to copy this, I'll like try to see if I get one out on. This might be my last copy, but if I get one out on, I'm going to mail them to you. Okay, shoot. Let me know what you think. Bye.